all of us are free tomorrow to put our names down on a list to buy a Rolls Royce. That's a freedom that applies to all of us. Only some of us can exercise that freedom of choice. 99% of us can't. When we come to London, at least when I come to London, I'm free to stay at the Savoy. But it's a freedom that's an abstract freedom so far as I'm concerned because I, it, it's not really a choice that's available to me so and saying, to the great majority of the British people. Does it British render it, does it, does minute, it, does it render it invalid? Listen, I, yes, indeed it does. So you're saying because I'll tell you this much. We've got freedom of the press in this country. But in order... I've got the same freedom as Sir Max Aitken. The only thing is, he's a multimillionaire, right, that has a newspaper, right? So he can exercise that freedom of the press that's there and dictate editorials that are in line with his ideological thinking. For me and for all of these people, it's an abstract freedom. And I think we should, when we talk about freedom, we should get from abstractions to reality. Let me put this point. You go and knock on an old age pensioner's door, and they come there and you say, how are you going on, old man? He says, terrible. And incidentally, let's face it, there was an old woman in Liverpool who was found in her house, choked to death because she was eating cardboard. Mm. And in the same paper, we had some other fellow, Norbury Enterprises, spent half a million pound on an aeroplane. Half a million pound with three bedrooms in his aeroplane. You go to the old age pension and you say, well, look, Pop, OK, then, you're having a hard time of it. Uh, you've only got a few quid. Yes, I can't even get tobacco. Uh, you're not eating too well. No, I hardly see meat. You say, ah, don't worry, you're free. The old fellow probably say, I am free to starve. Now, I tell you, <laughs> let's, take, let's take Shelley's Mask of Anarchy, where he talks about what is freedom. Freedom also is to have the freedom to bring up your children in such a way as to realise their full potential, to be free from the fear of poverty, to be free from the fear of war. These are, all, these are freedoms which I find establishment politicians never talk about. And the woman's quite right. The freedom of choice that you're talking about in a whole vast area is non-existent for the great majority of working class people in this country. Well, and therefore, well, it's an abstraction. 